Hi everyone, my name is David Klein with Klein Tools. Today, I want to talk to you about our insulated tools and specifically how to know when the insulation is no longer suitable for 1000 volt applications. Even though we all do our best to keep our tools safe and clean, we do occasionally drop them or do something else that could potentially damage the tool. Now, damage to the tool, especially for insulated tools, can compromise their usability. If the insulated portion of the tool is punctured, gouged, or cut, it could provide a direct pathway to the steel portion of the tool, which can be dangerous to the user and really anyone else nearby. So it's important to always know that the insulation is in perfect condition. That's why we always recommend that you inspect your tools before using them. At Klein Tools, we try to make that easy for you. All of our insulated tools feature two layer molded grips that have a white underlayer. Now, this white underlayer is there to provide a warning sign that the insulation may be compromised. If you can see the white layer, this is an indicator that the tool should not be used around live circuits anymore. We recommend you only use this tool um, where parts have been de-energized. Many other tool manufacturers do not include a white layer, making it difficult for you to know whether the tool is safe to use or not. At Klein Tools, we strive to provide the tradesmen with tools that help them get the job done safely and effectively. You should always de-energize any parts you're working on whenever possible, and again, inspect your tools before using them.